career on it. Yeah. Everyone did it for years. They all went on, on that P. Diddy fucking coattails of, or not P. Diddy, or the other fucking idiot, 50 Cent, because he was actually a crack dealer. And that became cool. And then everyone started riding on this. And now it's, oh, we don't want to be associated with the urban. It's just another way of saying nigger. Well, you you did it. We didn't, we didn't make that persona. You did. That's right. You guys say it on your records. We don't say it on ours. We're not allowed. We don't sing about black culture. No. You're never going to get that from a band. And no other band is singing about how urban the black people are and how we're trying to keep them down. There's no band that does that. No, there really isn't. But there's a lot of black ones that do. You can't, you can't bring it on yourself and then hate the world for it. Yeah. It's it's this it, it's it's different, but it, it, it's very similar to these people that want to not stand out. Because they, now they're saying distinguish us, distinguish us, identify us as a group. And as soon as we do, they're going to go, oh, I don't need pigeonhole this that thing. Yeah. Well, stop it, stop doing it. And yes, I'm talking about the people who haven't figured out the liars. I'm just you're liars. The, the 85, or I guess it would be the 83 liars, the 83 groups of liars. Yeah. There's 85 genders, male, female, and 83 fucking liars. Oh, fuck. I just, yeah. Anything else news I don't even want to talk about. I'm, yeah. I'm, sick, of the, I'm sick of the fucking, the, the, uh, the couple that what's his name Harry and Megan I'm sick of it I don't care why is Canada having having to pay for their security I don't understand they're internationally protected citizens any country they go to is responsible for their security it's not just he a Canadian thing they, he has denounced his royal heritage it doesn't matter it's got nothing to do with his royal heritage they're listed as internationally protected citizens it doesn't matter what country they go to that country is responsible for their security. It's not a Canadian thing. If you don't like it, kick them out of the country. No, but isn't that because of their royal heritage? That's why they have that. When you denounce that royal heritage and you denounce that, It doesn't work that way. It has to. He's still <laughs> of royal blood. It doesn't work that way. All he's doing is denouncing his money and stuff. He's still the fucking prince. You can't take that away. It's, it's your birthright. He can denounce it all he wants. But it's his bloodline. He's if everyone fucking dies, he still becomes the king, whether he denounces it or not. So the rest of the world can say what they want. It's he's an internationally protected citizen. It doesn't matter what country he goes to. That country is responsible for his safety. If we don't like it, we have to deport him. He. He can't be forced to be king, can he? Well, yeah, he has to. You can't force him to do anything. You can still walk and say, fuck it, I'm not doing it. You can't, though. It's your, you have to. It's your birthright. Whether he likes it or not, he's still... Well, he's not, but the chances of him becoming king are, are slim to none because it, it goes to his nephew. It goes to his brother, then to his nephew. Before and then to his nephew's kids before it ever goes to him. But if they all got killed in a weird, if the coronavirus wipes them all out, or a weird photography accident like happened in King Ralph, a great John Goodman movie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes. He, forever. Technically, they could force him. And then as king, I I don't know how a sitting king, if he abdicates the throne, who it goes to, but. That's it's weird. That's it's weird. never happened. No. But the royal family isn't. You you don't just you can't just say oh I'm not royalty anymore and then you're just not. It doesn't work that way. Even Sarah Ferguson was still the fucking duchess, and is what, still today what, a duchess. Would that work? What about what? Did you do the what's the, what's the, what's called emancipation? You can't emancipate yourself from your blood though. 
you if you uh, emancipation you separate from your parents so they're no longer your parents but you don't separate your from your identity as a human being i don't think you can you can't dissolve a royal family they're always going to be royal the all he could do is go into hiding which would have been the smart fucking thing to do anyway which is, I, I guarantee, this is just another distraction story. Because if he really wanted to get out of the public spotlight and not have any royal affiliation, they just shut up, dye your hair, and go into hiding. <laughs> it's true. This is Kurt Cobain. I don't want to be famous syndrome. Yeah. Yeah. Then stay in your fucking garage. Don't do the concerts. You don't. You didn't have to be famous. Is it? Harry wants to step out of the spotlight for a while. Well, you've been more in the spotlight than you've ever been in your fucking life for a month. So how'd that work out for you, dipshit? Right. <laughs> you know, and everyone worried about who's going to cover the cost. The dude's got $45 million in the bank. So, like, oh, I don't want my grandma's money. Well, guess what? We're not, you know, you're not standing in the soup line with me next week. With $45 million. Yeah, yeah. No, that, yeah. And I guarantee within two years, his wife has a reality show. Guaranteed. Oh, yeah. You think two years? Yeah. She misses, I, I give her, I'll give her three. She misses her <laughs> acting career. Now she's going to... Now every producer in the world is banging on her door right now. Guaranteed. No one gave a fuck about her when she was on that bullshit... Whatever, Mad Men are the one she was on. Whatever that, yeah, I don't know what that fucking show was. Yeah. Now people give a shit again. <laughs> but I, I, what is the RCMP doing that they can't check on these guys once in a while, make sure they're not dead? Like, can you take a break from beating natives to go check on the prince every now and then? Is that really going to cost a tremendous amount of money to the taxpayer if you fucking put down the taser and go make sure Harry's alive? (laughs) I don't see what... What is the big cost? (laughs) Number one, they're in Canada. No one gives a fuck that they're here. No one's out to hurt them. What are you protecting them from? They might accidentally get offered Girl Scout cookies. (laughs) <laughs> they are addicted what is the tremendous amount of protection these people need she was just on the downtown east side hanging out a block from where I used to podcast from she went and said hi to all the women at the women's center if you can if you can navigate East Hastings and be fine you don't need a great security detail yeah no that's true oh. I don't get what people are all like, my Canadians are well, I don't want to pay to protect them. What the fuck are you talking about? These are the same people that donated sixty million dollars to a bunch of rich people. Same ones whining. Fucking figure it out. I'm done. I gotta go. I'm mad now. <laughs> a kid line it's an hour and a half believe it or not it goes it goes quick when i'm angry so two and a half when we got the other look there <laughs> i i will edit i will do a condensed version i will attach yesterday's episode and you guys can all hear that and uh i will repost the facebook post and i'll put something on our website that nobody goes to <laughs> and we'll just kind of write it off as a terrible thing that uh shouldn't have happened it's not it's not my place to say um but i i going to make kind of an executive decision that i want to get off america for the rest of the week before i go there and hope one of them fucking shoots me (laughs) i have the list of the top 20 uh most highly educated countries in the world i bet you do let's save that for tomorrow because that's, well, a, it's, that's it's, a good it's, thing to start on tomorrow. It is a good thing, but it's taking me, like, it's one of these stupid click ones where you got to go through each 
It has like here's the here's the number, here's the country, and then you click next, and then here's a write up about it with the same picture that they just used, and then you click next, and there's another write up about it, same picture. You got to keep going through. I've been doing this for ten minutes. I'm still only on number nine. <laughs> yeah. Frustrated. Yeah, so those, I'm gonna condense this one down and I'll give you a fucking running list. Yeah, I, I'd be interested to uh, guess what they are. You want to uh, give me what you think the number one is? Just guess it now, then I'll give you the reveal tomorrow. Um, uh, it's probably fucking Sweden or something. Somewhere Iceland. Iceland. Okay. I don't know. I'm still. At, I'm at. I just about to. I'm on number six. <laughs> well, then we have a we have a good lead in for something exciting to talk about tomorrow night. That's going to be interesting and not um, just uh, piss me off. Um, uh, we will try to do something to get the show back on track tomorrow. I swear, and I'll I'll start being funny about something. Just I I can't be funny about America anymore. Um. Well, I can tell you this, Eric. I found a few bunch of the stuff you said today very fucking humorous. Oh, thank you very much. Um, I appreciate it. I, I I hope everyone else did too. I'll, I'll, ultimately, that's what I want, and I will. I'll give a big speech tomorrow night about it, and and hopefully we can get some listeners back and. Go listen on Spreaker because we could really use the stats bumped up on there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. Thank you very much. I know it. I only sound angry because I am. Um, <laughs> but we will be back. I hope tomorrow evening we're doing this. As far as I know. Fantastic. Um, so in roughly 23 hours, we'll be back to do this again. Until then, everyone take care of each other. Die a horrible death to people who suck. Right. Yeah. Fantastic. Good night. Perfect. <laughs> uh, looks like it recorded okay, so I'll listen to it on the way home and I'll post it when I get there. Perfect. Um, what's his name from um, um, the podcast? You mentioned the, the uh, UK, um, US one? Yep. Uh, one of the two guys that posted something saying that he was bored at work. He needs somebody to amuse him with something. So I sent him a joke. And the joke is just quite simply, so I favored the gypsy woman who was on her period yesterday. Oh, I got this my palm red for nothing. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so I said, that's all I texted him. I didn't know setup. I just texted him that. And he just, he messes back. He's like, oh my God. He goes, that is so fucking random. <laughs> that <laughs> is. There you go. <laughs> I think that, that might be my uh, Twitter bio from now on. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. I'm not going to tell you the answer, but you're going to be stunned who number one is. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, um, I am. I don't agree with it. I'll try to figure it out. I don't agree with it. I say there's no way this is true. I'm not gonna. No I'm not gonna cheat. I won't look it up, but I'll. I'll try to. I'll try to figure it out. The most highly educated countries in the world. Uh, I will number one here. There's no fucking way in hell this is true. I'll, I'll try to figure it out, and I won't cheat. And I'll give another guess when we talk about it tomorrow. Perfect. Awesome. All right. All right. My that was awesome, buddy. Have a good night. Um, sorry to cut it short since I'm sitting at a friend's house and they haven't. They very nicely, politely didn't talk for an hour and a half. Yeah. No. I I, I really appreciate them uh, doing this for us. That was very nice, though. It's um just because we're on the speaker phone or we're on the phone. We don't have like the whole setup, so yeah. they they didn't get to hear you. But I think they got the gist. I think so. Um, cool, buddy. Awesome. All right. Um, I will send you a message at some point tomorrow. Okay, cool. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. It sounds good, man. All right, brother. I am going to go pee and I'm going to fucking bed. I'm sorry? I said I'm going to have a pee and go to bed. Sounds good. You know what? I'm not far behind you. Yeah. (laughs) All right, buddy. Have a good night. Have a good night.